What's up everybody, this is Don from Intuitive. Greetings from our new 15,000 square foot warehouse in Los Angeles. Thank you so much for all the uh, early supporters that have been with us the last few years who have you know, invested in us and bought our products and you know, helped and encourage us, giving us motivation to keep moving forward. We're now in this awesome space we just moved into and uh, it's a lot of work to be done. It has a lot of potential, uh, but thank you for that. Um, in this video, I want to announce a couple of new products which I've been kind of keeping under wraps for a long time now. Mostly because we didn't have the provisional patents filed. Now that's been filed, I can show you our new stuff and I know you're going to love it. I'm going to start with our new SX2 adjustable rear control arm with our patent pending self compensating adjustment right height bracket. What this does, aside from looking really badass, is it keeps this ball, this right height sensor ball, in the exact same position regardless of the length you set on this arm. And this is really important because it will keep your car at the same level if you're at minus four degrees camber or if you're at plus four degrees camber. But please don't ever go to plus four degrees camber. So when you take your car to get aligned, the technician may add camber or subtract camber, either way the car is going to stay at the exact same right height. And the way we accomplished that with the original SX1 is we kept the adjuster on the wheel side. But that made alignment a little bit tricky to, to access, it made the adjuster tricky to, to access. We wanted to switch that around to put the adjuster on the subframe side to make it easy to adjust. But in doing so, that meant that this ball is now going to be continually moving back and forth depending on where you set this arm. We didn't want that to happen. We created this bracket to, uh, to make sure it wouldn't happen and it is awesome. I've got it right now in my 2019 Model S Ludacris and it is amazing. It works exactly as we had hoped and I am really looking forward to getting this in people's hands. Um, so that's, that's one of the main changes here. Second change, and you won't see it on this one because it's going to be coming on the black electroless nickel plated version, <clears throat> is we have got um, kind of taking a page from the RSX series lowering links, we are putting a scale here where you can see where the length of the arm is relative to the OEM factory camera arm. So zero just like with the Lynx, is going to be neutral setting. That's going to be the, the stock OEM camera length setting. And then we're going to have a scale, minus 15 and plus 15. So the cool thing about that is that now um, you can take your car to an alignment shop and you can get essentially two alignments at the same time if you're into racing, right? So if you're into racing, you can go to the alignment shop and say, okay, I want to, I want to um, dial in this alignment for the track. And then once you've got the numbers that you want, you look on, on the scale and you see where that's at. And you can take a picture of it, you can write it down. So you'll know that when you're in that setting on both camber and toe, that's gonna to be your racetrack setting. And you don't have to go get it aligned again because it's already marked here. And you've already essentially calibrated it when you went to the alignment shop. Right, so now, same time it's at the alignment shop, you can have them calibrate it for your street setting whatever numbers you want for street setting, and we'll have more information about that on the website. Again, you can take a picture of both camber and toe, and that's, now that's going to be your street setting. So when you're done with racing, you can take the wheel off, or you can go underneath the car if you want to, change this back to the settings that you wrote down, and you're good to go. You don't have to have your car aligned again, right? Of course, you don't want to have your car aligned once in a while anyways, but I'm saying, you know, if you're just going to the track and street, then you're fine, you can just use the scale. So that's that, and now we've done the same thing uh, with our new plaid version camera arm. This works for the 2021 and later uh, Model S and X plaid and long range versions. And in this version you can see I don't have a bushing here and I don't have the clamp on here, but you get the idea, we've got this uh, measurement bracket 
and there's no scale on this version. It will be on the electronic nickel plated black version. Uh, right there, you can do the same thing. Um, the one thing I will say is that in order for this to be as effective as possible, you really need it on the toe side as well. Uh, we don't have toe arms with this bracket yet. We just have a standard uh, toe arms. Actually, we don't have a toe arm for, for, the, for the plaid or long range at all yet because the, the plaid and long range actually already come with an adjustable toe arm. But for those of you who want that measurement feature, we are going to introduce that here, um, hopefully early next year. Um, and then for the 2012 to 2020, the SX2 arm, um, again, we, uh, we do have a new toe arm, but it does not have the scale feature yet. That will be coming next year. So that's, um, that's the gist of it. But uh, yeah, I am really, really happy with this new design. And I've looked at it five million times and I don't really know how I can improve on it. If you have some ideas, let me know. I'm all ears. As you may know, because a lot of you have given me suggestions over the, over the last couple of years, and I have incorporated, I think, virtually every single one of those suggestions into this new design. And uh, so this version is super easy to adjust. Um, it's, uh, it's got a lot of the good stuff from the original version and some new stuff uh, from the new version here. You can see this is the forged, just the forged arm here, hollow body. Really cool, really light, very strong. And um, same with this, also forged. This was kind of the hang up in our whole production is the forging aspect. So uh, I invested a lot to do a CNC for the first initial batch and that's coming out quite soon. If it's not already out by the time you watch this video. Um, now going into a little bit more detail, not much really, but um, this is our new rod end for the plaid and uh, long range model S and X. This is just a solid piece of chromoly that's been uh, uh, zinc nickel plated and it is super strong. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you about it. It's just, it's just really a great spherical bushing. And this side we are going to have spherical bushing on as well. I just don't have it to show you at the moment, but it is, it is actually, they're all made already. I just, uh, I just don't have it pressed into this arm and I wanted to show you. So yeah, that is, uh, that's where we're at. Um, this new version is all about being able to see where you're at at any given time and just make things easy for you. So you can, uh, you know, if you're, if you're on the racetrack, you can dial in you can dial in multiple settings. You can you have two settings, you can have more than two settings if you want to. If you want to experiment with different settings, you just get that done at the alignment shop, record uh, your position, and mark that down as, as you know setting one, or racetrack, race, racetrack setting, street setting. And you can experiment with different settings and see what you like. Uh, so that's it. Thank you. Got a lot of work to do here. But I uh, really appreciate your support. We are investing in a lot of new products that I know you're going to love. And I know you could have, uh, for all of you who have supported us over the last few years, I know you could have gone with cheaper, cheaper parts or 3D printed this or that. But I really appreciate you investing in us because now that just gives us the funds and the motivation to create more new cool stuff. And uh, hopefully we can kind of advance the uh, Tesla aftermarket industry further. So thank you, take care.